So, breaking news. Credit to Reddit. Again, I'm not sure if the users want me to mention their name, but the guy has been doing this for a while. He's been on the forefront of getting videos of the arrest, breaking the report. And yeah, we have video now. And in fact, we have video about the passenger. So if you remember from the police report that became public, the passenger, there was a passenger in the vehicle when the arrest was made. And it is a guy. It seems to be like a young guy. So, hmm, I'm sure Reddit is going to go crazy over that part. Uh, I thought it would be Darby or Liz. Uh, and the, the reason we know that this is Anthony is because of his hoodie and his t-shirt and his attire, which is plastered in logos. This is actually, you know, like when we talk about advertising and marketing, it is kind of funny how often Anthony uses his logo, like how like how often he wears a hoodie. Like, does he never not wear the hoodie? Does he never? So he's wearing a hoodie with his business name. He's wearing a trucker hat with his business name, and yet he still decides to run away. He gives his driver's license to the police so they know exactly who he is. And if didn't, even if he didn't give the driver's license to the police, just the sheer number of advertisements on himself, I'm sure that they would be <laughs> really easy to identify. Guys, look for a guy in a timepiece gentleman hoodie. The logo is a guy in tuxedo, but he's wearing a hoodie. Like, this is not difficult to catch him. So running is really not an option, even assuming he had not given the driver's license away. Because, my God, he's wearing the timepiece gentleman hoodie and the cap and the logos and the promotions and... Outside of this not being the wrapped Lambo, it would be really obvious who the person is committing the crime. Or alleged crime. Allegedly. So here we have a video. Uh, they are The police officer is trying to take Anthony away. Anthony decides at this point in time, according to the police report, to run. He runs as fast as he can. And then they catch him. Now... Something unexpected happens in this video, which was sometimes you have to see the video to notice something like this. Like it is the passenger is coming from here. So that's the passenger. And at first I thought it was a female passenger. The passenger seems to have something in his or her hand. Uh, you can see that they're we wearing a skinny, they're skinny jeans. Um, it's a sweat short shirt. This was in February, so maybe it was a little cooler. But then um, the passenger, once you know, is coming here. It, it's starting to look more like uh, a young boy, or young man. Uh, he's got a logo on, which may be the TPG logo. I think he has a hoodie that kind of looks like it. It could be something different. I know the TPG logo is circular, right? But I mean, maybe they changed the design. So he, it looks like he's holding a cell phone is my guest, uh, and here he goes, and it is a guy, because he's wearing the, probably the TPG hat, and he does not, he or she does not have long hair, and then the reason I think it's a hoodie, because you can kind of see maybe warding on the hoodie, I don't know, uh, but regardless, it's not Darby, Darby has a beard, this clearly isn't, uh, this figure is not as skinny as Darby or George, uh, it appears to be a white male, uh, would be my guess, and he's just chilling. So when they said in the police report that there was a passenger who just kind of came out once enough time, you know, what happened was Anthony got pulled over, the passenger's sitting there, uh, the police is talking to Anthony, they take Anthony out, the passenger's still sitting, Anthony makes a run for it, the passenger is still sitting, and then decides just to get out, and, you know, and then he crosses the line of vision for the police cam, on the car. So again, interesting scenario to see this actually play out on the report, even though it was the detail I highlighted. Uh, it is probably more realistic to look on the actual video. 
So the police, this took them 35 minutes, then they had to drive back, and then they had to do a blood test. Uh, clearly, this is a, a bad news for Anthony, and we know it's Anthony because who else would be wearing a TPG hoodie and a TPG hat this late at night? The answer is nobody. I mean, this is this is pretty awkward, honestly. Now, we do have another video, and wait till you see that video. So another video was given, and it's the video of Anthony at the what I assume is a police department. They have the Christmas trees from December. You can see all the people. You can see the doctor. You can see the... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the guy. This is a, maybe his body cam because he's always looking at the watch. And then our good friend Anthony is getting his blood tested, which then comes back very high for alcohol. Um, again, we know this is Anthony because of the logo on his... Yeah, actually, you know what? I think it is that logo because the, the reason that it looks different from a circle is the timepiece gentleman, the name is on the bottom, so it kind of looks like a tree. So I think it is a logo. Uh, he has now, the trucker hat has now come off. I don't know, like if you have a hoodie, do you really wear a trucker hat with a hoodie or no? So here is, I assume, the police officer or the person monitoring it and making sure that they have everything you no, know, every I dotted, every T crossed. Anthony not looking too good in this video, honestly. But fascinating. So we finally got the... Now, the only missing video, which may come out later, would be the chase. Is the chase going to be revealed? Because that would be fascinating. Um, you know, the... the, the <laughs> anyway... Yeah, fascinating stuff. Bye, <laughs> guys.